Uh, hello everyone. Today we're going to describe what happens to the speed of electromagnetic wave uh, waves in uh, media. Uh, then we want to describe what happens to the direction of electromagnetic waves in media. Uh, first of all, we want uh, to talk about or to remind you uh, when a sub when a light travels uh, through our pass through a sub uh, some materials like transparent material, they can uh, pass through them, okay. And some uh, materials they do not allow the uh, part the light to uh, continue passing. They will absorb or uh, reflect uh, this light. Uh, in this lesson, we want to know what happens when light waves interact with matter. Actually, when light waves pass through a medium, and we're talking here about a transparent material, the medium can change the properties of the light. So here, mainly, we're talking about transparent material. What are the properties will be changed when the light passes through uh, this medium? The first one, the speed of light will be changed. We have learned before, the speed of light is constant in vacuum. It's 300 million meters per second. But when the light travels through different or passes through different matters, the light of speed, it will be changed. Actually, it will be uh, slower. So light slows when it passes through matter. That depends on what? On the wavelength. All the light wavelength, all the wa light uh, actually uh, wavelengths, it travel at the same speed in vacuum. Yani if you're talking about red light, violet light, uh, blue light, all of them in vacuum, they have the same speed, the 300 million meter per second. But going to happen to this speed it will be stay the same for all wavelengths when they travel through different material or through the uh, the medium actually it's not the same it's not through the same in medium when light enters a medium from a vacuum shorter wavelengths are slower or slowed more than longer wavelengths i'll give you example hello we have learned the wavelength of red color is longer than the wavelength of violet light because it's longer so it will be faster than the violet where in the medium because it or it will be faster than okay it will be slower uh, than in vacuum but still it will be faster than violet light the second thing that happened for the light when uh, it passes through a medium actually it will change the direction the light travels in straight uh, in straight lines but when it passes through a medium it will change the direction it will not continue passing in the same direction it will change a little bit the direction this changing in direction it's called what it's called a refraction so a refraction is the change in the, in the direction of a wave as it passes from one medium into another at an angle here I mentioned an angle because it means it sh the light it should make an angle with a, a medium it's not in a straight line yani the source of light it's not straight it what it's not making like 90 degree with the medium it's like it will make uh, it makes what an algal i'll show it to you now with more example uh, here now refraction is due to the change in speed as wave enters a new medium so when uh, the light travels from one medium to another the speed it will be uh, different it's not the same uh, for all uh, mediums so here uh, that uh, refraction actually uh, will happen uh, but in your mind we're talking about the traveling of light from transparent material to other tra another transparent material to explain this go to your book 100 uh, page 100 here 
you will find uh, like a, a cup of water here it's a glass it has water inside it also as you see it has a straw when you look at the straw this straw here uh, it, it it looks like uh, it's bended actually the uh, the the straw here is not bended that what happened why we see uh, we see it as bended imagine your eye is here and you are looking from this uh, point here as you know the light travels in a straight line if it's not traveling through different materials the same material it will stay what in a, this, in a straight line look at this part here I'll show it to you here imagine you're looking from your eye to the straw here let's make like a straight line here so this one is what the light here is reflected from the straw to your eye what in a straight line so you don't see it in this part in the upper part here you it's not uh, bended but if you look at the lower part of the uh, yani if you look at the straw uh, which uh, at the part uh, in the water Hello. What happened here when the light is reflected to your eye to see the uh, to see the light? Hello. This light it was traveling from this point here. Look at it to this point to the glass from uh, and here between water particle and it will be reflected here. Look at it here. Reflected. It's not uh, reaching your eyes yet look at it and it will change the direction it will not stay in the same uh, direction look what's gonna happen actually here it will change a little bit yeah you like it's winded here maybe it's not a clear but here look at it now it was moving in a straight line but a little bit here in this point start to change uh, yeah, it be what it will make like an angle other one okay so here it's bended that's why you see it like uh, it's bended okay so this is the refraction how the light is refracted it's changed uh, its a direction I want to show you now different examples how the light is uh, refracted when it passes through different materials. To understand this, I want to explain three cases. In these three cases, I want to la the light to travel through different transparent materials, these two different transparent materials, air and glass. This part here, it shows the air, and this part here, it shows the glass. And the line here, represent like a border between the air and the glass so this part is the glass okay uh, how the light it will travel through these different materials here in the middle this line this blue line I'll call it normal what is normal actually it's an imaginary imaginary line a uh, line this uh, line uh, I put it in what between it will make this one it will make 90 degree with the other transparent material so this an imaginary line it makes what 90 degree angle okay how to understand what's gonna happen to the light imagine this is the source of light the source of light is in the air and this source of light it can pass from the air to the glass because these two different transparent material how the light it will travel I'll show it to you now the light here it will travel as you know the density of air is what is lower than the density of a glass so where the air it will be faster in a uh, sorry the light will be faster in the air or in the glass actually it will be faster in the air so look here the light it will travel in a straight line look this one in a straight line this is the source of light and this is the direction 
of the light it's from the air to the glass but it will not continue moving in the same direction it will change the direction a little bit it will be look at it how it will be now the light here it will be to this way it will change got it you understand but look here it will be closer to the normal this point is very important to show it to you okay it refracted it changed the direction okay but this angle here is a small and the angle here between the normal and the light in the air is larger here it will be refracted why how it will be close to what close to the normal why because it's traveling from lower density to higher density so it will be slower when it will be slower uh, so what's gonna happen it will be refracted or change the direction close to the normal line look at the second one I want to explain B now B here the source of light it makes like 90 degree with the glass so Uh, now in the second one uh, we want to talk about when the light travels now uh, but not making an angle imagine the light is here the source of light is here this is the source of light and the light uh, and this one the blue one is what is the normal line it's an imaginary line we said uh, okay but here the source of light it, as the light travels in a straight line the light here it will continue moving also what in a straight line without making an uh, any refraction because we said look at it here this is the light and this is here the light travels from the air to glass it may uh, through two different um, uh, transparent material but here it didn't refract why because the light here is a traveling in a straight line the light is making 90 degree with the uh, glass here so it will not refract that's why we mentioned when we uh, took the definition of a refraction uh, we said uh, uh, what uh, at a an angle this point is important Hello, the third case we will uh, discuss it uh, tomorrow uh, and we will talk about what's going to happen in the third uh, case uh, for, uh, thank you for listening